So this is the question number uh, three of sheet six. Okay, here we have a semicircular disc of 60 mm diameter has its straight edge in the VP at inclined to HP at 45 degree. The surface of the plate makes an angle of 90 degree with the VP. We need to draw its projections. Okay, so this we can consider to be the semicircular disc of a 60 mm diameter. So according to the question, this will be the position of the disc when we uh, there is no uh, no inclinations. Okay, so this will be the front view of the object. So let us start the solution then. Let this is the XY line. Let this is the XY line. This is the XY line. And this is the, for example, diameter of the disc, which is 60 mm. Okay. So to draw the disc, I will use the compass. We will use the compass. So this will be its center. This will be the radius, and we will draw the semicircle like this. Okay. Then we will divide the semicircle into equal number of parts. For that, we will place the compass here at one end of the diameter. With the compass same as the radius, we will make a mark here make a mark here then we will place it at the other end then we will make a mark here okay then we will place it here at its point we will make a mark here like this and then one at its bottom as well okay so this has divided the circle into equal number of parts let this part is this point is one dash this is two dash three dash four dash five dash six dash and seven dash let us join these points with the center like this this is the point this is the point this is the point this is the point and this is six dash okay so now we project these points to draw the top projection of the circle semicircle like this like this so this will be the top projection of the circle so this point will be one and in bracket seven this will be 2 and 6, 3 and 5 and 4. Okay. Then the surface makes an angle 30 degree with the the surface makes an angle 30 degree with the VP. So we will use the auxiliary vertical plane at an angle of 30 degree. At an angle of 30 degree. So we will use the compass. We'll place it here. Then we will rotate it like this and measure the angle 30 degree. So this is the point 30 degree. So from here we will first draw the auxiliary in uh, auxiliary vertical plane so this will be the auxiliary vertical plane okay and this is the auxiliary vertical plane and from here these points we will draw the projectors which will be 90 degree to this auxiliary vertical plane auxiliary vertical plane so this is the location then we will draw the projectors 90 degree to it so this is from this 1 and 7 point yes from 2 and 6 then from 3 and 5 then from 4 then from 4 like this then we will measure the distance of these all points from the reference from the plane so this is our xy okay we will measure the distances for that we will use the compass so we will put the one end of the compass here so the distance of point number one is this much Yes, so the point 1 and 7 is same for both the planes. So we will rotate it to get the point location of point 1. So this will give us the location of point 1. Let me just extend this line. Let me first erase this. Okay, then we will extend this. So let me just extend this line, these projectors. Yes. So this this is the distance of point one. So this will be one dash. Similarly, the distance of point seven is 
nearly this one in fact less than this so we will rotate it it is coming some heading somewhere here so we will mark it slightly less so this is the approximate distance of point 7 dash so this will be 7 dash this will be 1 dash similarly for the location of point 6 and 6 and 2 dash we will put the compass here we place the compass here so this is the location of point 2 so we will keep the compass here and we will rotate it to get the location of 2 dash this is 2 dash now we will keep the compass at here to get the location of point 3 dash so this is 3 dash place it here rotate it to get the location of 3 dash okay then I will keep it here to get the location of point 6 dash so this is the location then we will keep it here sorry we need to measure it again then yes like this then we will keep it here we will rotate it to get the location of point 6 dash so this will be the point 6 dash this will be 2 dash similarly this will be 3 dash now the next point would be the 5 dash next point would be the 5 dash so we will place it here next point would be the 5 dash we will place it here yes now we will lift it place it here we will rotate it that will give us the location of 5 dash so this is the 5 dash now the distance of the point 4 will be measured by keeping the compass here and this will be the distance of point 4 dash so before that let me just draw a perpendicular from here projector perpendicular projector from here yes so then we will lift this compass we will place its end here and we will measure the 4 dash point so this is the 4 dash this is the 5 dash then we will join the different points let me first erase the extra projectors which are not required these are actually not required okay then we will join them so 1 with 2 2 with 3 3 with 4 4 with 5 5 with 6 and 6 with 7 so this will be the auxiliary front view okay now now to draw the auxiliary top view we will make use of the auxiliary inclined pin so as per the question the straight edge is in the VP and inclined to HP with an angle of 45 degrees okay so we will make a uh, plane the auxiliary inclined plane at an angle 45 degree to its straight edge to its straight edge so with the help of this protector so this is the edge so i will draw a plane which is at an angle of 45 degree to this straight edge okay so this is the point for example i'm making the angle here and this is here and this is the 45 degree point so i will join this So this will represents the auxiliary inclined plane. This represents the auxiliary inclined plane. Auxiliary inclined plane. Then we will draw the projectors from all these points, with, uh, which will be perpendicular to this plane. Perpendicular to this plane. So let me just fix the tri square. You will use your drafters to draw the perpendicular projectors. Okay. Please use drafter for these projections for making the all the projections that will be much more easier for it. That will be much more easier to all. Okay. Yes. So from here, so this is the projector for 0.7, okay, this is for 6, this 
this is 4.5 this is 4.4 this is 4 3 This is for two and this is for one. This is for one. So these are the different projectors. Now to measure the distance, we will measure this distance of different points from this plane, from this plane x y. So this distance of point one and seven is same, is zero from this plane, and so. The point 1 and 7 will lie on the plane itself. So this is the projector for point 7. So this will be the point 7. And this will be the point 1. This will be the point 1. Let me erase the extra projector then for the clarity. So this will be the point 1. The 2 and 6 is at a distance of this much. This is the distance we need to measure. So this is approximately equal to some some 10 mm nearly 10 mm so from the projector of 2 this is the projector of 2 we will measure 10 mm so this will be the point and projector of 6 this is the projector it is approximately 10 mm so this is the projector point 6 and this is the point 2 this is the point 2 okay then this is the point let me again erase the extra projector of 3. This is the point 2. The 3 and 5 are at this distance. They are at this distance. And this distance is nearly 6. Nearly 16 mm. So we will keep our compass at the projector of 3 which is this one. Here it is this one. So let me just fix the scale. Yes, we will keep it here and then we will mark the location of point 3 at a distance of 16 mm. So this will be the location. So this is the point 3. This is the point 3. Similarly for 5. Similarly for the 5. This is the projector of 5. We will keep it here. Mark 16 mm. You will use your compass to mark these points please. The compass in this software is of very large range so that is why I am not able to mark the points. Okay then we have the point 4 which is at a distance of nearly 20 mm and this is the projector of 4. Yes, this is the projector of 4 so we will mark the point 4 20 mm. So this is the 4 okay this was 5 this was 3 so let me erase the extra projectors which is not required here and we'll join the points and we'll join these points okay so this will be the 7 to 6 6 to 5 5 to 4, this is point 3, 4 to 3, 3 to 1, and then 3 to 2, and then 3 to 4 to 3, 3 to 2, and then 2 to 1. So this will be the final, final auxiliary top view of this problem. So this completes our solution for the problem number 3. Let me remove these areas, these tools and this is the final solution. Thank you.